And now staying on the topic of health and medicine, I want to ask you a question. What would you do if you could control what goes on in your body? If you could program it, so to speak. Would you set an alarm that forces your eyes to open in time for work or class? Or would you program your muscles to keep flexing even while you slept, you know, to burn those extra calories while you're dreaming? Or would you be even more ambitious? Would you try and fix underlying medical issues by manually controlling your body? I ask all of this because this is where humans seem to be headed. A new research paper has been published by scientists in Switzerland. They say they can send electric commands directly to human DNA, meaning they can make human genes obey external commands. They claim to have a proof of concept for this electrogenetic interface, and they say this is the future of wearable medical devices. Here's a report. An electrogenetic interface. That's what scientists at the ETH Zurich University are calling their new discovery. They have found a way to talk to human DNA, to give human genes commands using electricity. Thus the name electrogenetic. The scientists from Switzerland just published a paper detailing their findings. They are quite excited about the potential their research has in the field of wearable electronic devices. Let's first talk about what they did, how the scientists proved their concept. They took a mouse with type 1 diabetes and attached some human cells to it. The human cells were capable of producing insulin. That's the essential hormone that controls your blood sugar levels. People develop diabetes when their bodies are unable to regulate their blood sugar levels on their own. Coming back to the experiment with the mouse, the scientists had put acupuncture needles into the test subject, right where the human genes had been attached. This allowed the scientists to transmit commands to the human DNA via electricity, almost like a small electric shock to tell the human genes to start making insulin. And it apparently worked. The scientists say their electrogenetic interface allowed them to supply insulin to the mouse in a timely manner. That too by using a standard set of AA batteries. Now imagine what this could do for diabetic humans. We could wear a watch-like device that could trigger regular insulin production. A machine could take over for our failing DNA and keep our blood sugar levels in check. That too on a timer. No more alarms to remind you of your insulin dose. If you combine this technology with constant monitoring, it could help prevent insulin shocks. It could potentially save lives. And that's just the beginning. The technology doesn't need to just focus on diabetic patients. It has the potential to alter medicine as we know it. Imagine telling the genes that are causing cancer to just stop. Imagine pressing a button and suppressing a rare genetic condition. May sound like science fiction now, but this research could pave the way towards that future. The ETH Zurich University team behind this research have been looking into electrogenetics for a while now. In 2020, they successfully used electricity to control gene expression. And three years later, they've come out with the electrogenetic interface, a way to command human DNA directly. We found out that electricity could control DNA a while ago, but the next stage was figuring out how. It's not like you could point a remote at a person and have their genes respond to a button. This new research shows us a way, using acupuncture needles to transfer the electricity in this case. Of course, the technology is nowhere near ready yet. It's only been tried on a mouse. It will take a while before an electrogenetic interface can be hooked up to humans. But it still moves us closer to wearable medical devices, ones that can directly apply gene-based therapies. They have a great potential to save lives and drastically influence our living.